What's up you guys, Robert here again for another Toe Bar Guitar video lesson. Today we're going to do Lost Inside the Girl by Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. Uh, this was actually a request from a previous video I made, uh, The Great Pretender, by, also by Slash. And it was requested by Kay Anderson. So thank you Kay for uh, requesting this request and let's get to it. Okay, so the first part of the song is the main riff. And it's pretty much the same part as all the verses. It goes like this. Okay. And uh, so it, it pretty much does this. It's a uh, third finger on the third string, fourth fret. Then first finger on the second fret, fourth string. And then the open third string like that. And then it'll go uh, three to four hammer on on the, on the third. Like that. And then it's two, zero, and then four, and then fourth string two. And then it'll go on the third like that. And then it'll go open third again. And then you're gonna slide back and forth on the fourth and second fret on the fourth string like that. So. Actually pretty simple. You're just gonna need a few power chords. Uh, these are the power chords in order. So it's a B power chord here on the second fret, fifth string, like that. Uh, it's an. This next one's gonna be an A chord. Uh, it's. It just. It looks kind of funny, but it's like this. Second. Uh, actually, fourth fret, fifth string, seventh fret, fourth string, like that. Then a D power chord, which is the fifth fret, fifth string. Then it's an A power chord on the. 5th fret 6th string, it's a C power chord on the 5th fret 3rd string, and it's a, third, uh, a G power chord on the 3rd fret 6th string like that. And the last one's an F sharp power chord, which is just half step back from that 2nd fret. So this is how it's played, it goes. Okay, so after the chorus, it goes into the main riff again, but this time he does it an octave higher. It sounds better if you use your neck pickup on this. It goes like this. Okay, and this is pretty much uh, how you play it. So it goes... Uh, Third finger on the uh, seventh fret, first string, then fifth fret, second string, then eighth fret, second string, like that. Then it goes five, I mean, sorry, seven, five, eight on the second, then six to seven, hammer on, five on the first, and then he'll do this bend over here. So he's 
bending the eighth, uh, sorry, the, uh, actually this is the tenth fret. A whole step. Bring it down. Pull off to the eighth. Then you're gonna do the ninth fret with your middle finger. And then you're gonna bend the eighth fret with your index finger. And this is gonna, you're gonna need your hand to kind of push it up like that. And then he'll do, uh, Half of bend on the seventh fret, second string. Pull off to the fifth. It goes there on the seventh, back to the fifth. Then seventh, four, seven on the third. Then half step bend to the seventh from the sixth. arpeggios, E minor arpeggio, 5th string, 7th fret, 4th string, 5th fret, 3rd string, 4th, then 5th fret, 2nd string, then you're going to half step bend on the 7th fret, 2nd string, bring it back down, and that's about it, the bridge section, and you're going to need uh, just some, some chords here, so it's a B, it's a lot of the same chords, it's a B power chord, uh, the only, I think the only off one is this A chord in first inversion. Pretty much what you want to do is you want to get this A triad with your index finger just like that. Just the fourth, third, and second string. And then you want to get the C sharp in the bass with your third finger like that. Okay. And then you're going to get a D power chord. And then a G power chord. And an A. And then it uses an F sharp at the very end. Okay, So it goes like this. And then it'll just go to a uh, C. And then right before it starts over, it does these notes in between there. So it's 0, 3 on the 6th, 5, 4 on the 5th, then 0, 3 again on the 6th, then 4, 2, and then it starts it over. So this is how it goes. So in the very ending of the song, um, Slash is playing these arpeggios. <clears throat> it sounds pretty good with it at the very end, but it goes like this. So it's a D arpeggio, A arpeggio, C arpeggio, and a G arpeggio. And it goes down and up with a few notes in, in, in there from the scale as well. So uh, this, is, this is how it's played. So I'm just gonna kind of give you the uh, uh, just the just the notes here because it, it, I might get a little confused with the fingering. So it just it just kind of follow me along. So it's fifth fret fifth string, then it goes to the ninth fret fifth string, then it does this triad here seven seven seven. Then it goes second string. It goes ten. Uh, 
nine, seven, pull off, and then it goes into the uh, seventh fret, fourth string, like that. which goes at 5th fret 6th string, 9th fret 6th string, then it goes 7th seven, 7th seven on the 5th and 4th, then it goes on the 6th on the 3rd, then it goes on the 9th on the 3rd, 7th on the 3rd, Third on the sixth string. I mean, sorry, third on the sixth fret. That's what it is. And it does seven seven on the fourth and the fifth like that. And then it does the uh, nine seven seven on the fourth like that. Next two are exactly the same, just a whole step back. future videos keep making requests again songs that are not so common stuff like that particularly rock songs that's kind of what I like um, and don't forget to follow me on social media I'll put the links out down in the description so you can keep up with my day-to-day -day lives and whatnot anyways that's it for this week so I'll see you guys next time